Good morning, and welcome to the Seabree Church of Christ midweek lesson. Glad you tuned in and uh, want to just give you a few encouraging words in the middle of the week. You know, the disciples heard tough and challenging words from their rabbi, Jesus Christ. He wanted them to be heart strong and faith filled. He wants the same for you and for me. The scripture for today is you, do you now believe Jesus replied, a time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. You will leave me all alone, yet I am not alone. My Father is with me. I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace in this world. You will have trouble, but take heart. I have overcome the world. John chapter 16, verses 31 through 33. Jesus knew that he was about to suffer on the cross and leave the disciples alone. In advance, he prepared them for the inevitable separation that they would feel. Throughout history, brethren, disciples have endured persecution of all kinds, often you know, flung wide to the four corners of the globe, scattered abroad. A time is coming and in fact has come when you will be scattered each to your own home. While this refers to his disciples abandoning him during this time, are there more pungent words for us today? Many of us have been encouraged toward isolation and some have been mandated that we had to isolate in our own homes and have distancing and be separate and apart. No matter for in Jesus' words, we ultimately can find hope. I have told you these things so that in me, you may have peace. Yes, that is what we want and hope and pray for during this time of the coronavirus pandemic. In this world, you will have trouble, no question about it. You might even say, come again, Jesus. Wait, I'm supposed to have peace, not trouble. Why can't I grab a double portion of peace and pass the trouble on? Good question. But take heart. I have overcome the world is what Christ said. Jesus wants his disciples to be heart strong and to be courageous. He reminded his group of 12 that he has in fact overcome the world. Put your faith in him who overcame trouble and find courage to walk in faith today. Ultimately, Jesus wanted his first disciples as well as his current disciples to look to him because he already overcame the world, including any virus we might face. Think about these things today, and if you would, in our closing, pray with me. Father in heaven, we are scattered today and maybe a bit lonely. The world seems like a disaster and the news constantly reminds us of more trouble. Lord, please grant me courage today. Grant me the ability to take heart, to be gracious to those who fear and trust in you when all seems lost. Lord, fill me with your spirit that I may be a light to those that are around me. 
And Lord, as always, we ask your blessings upon the Seabury congregation of its members, of their loved ones, of their family and their friends. And we pray, Father, desperately that you help us to be strong at this time in our country of the coronavirus and areas where we have all kinds of demonstrations of violence going on. Help us, Father, to remember that you have overcome the world and that we put our trust and our love and our hope in you. And we pray, Father, that you would help us to be strong in our faith and always be ready to share our faith and to help others in any way that we can. Father, we ask you to please bless us and to keep us in your loving hands. And this is our prayer in Christ's name. Amen. I want to thank you again for tuning in and encourage you to share these videos with your friends and family and those invite them to come to services with you. We will be having services again this Sunday uh, at 1030 at the Seabury Church of Christ and would love to see you there and uh, have you worship with us. And if you have any needs, if you'd like to study God's word or or you have things that you think that we might be able to help you with, please feel free to contact us. My phone number is 270-823-2335. And we hope that you have a great rest of the week. And remember that, we, that God is always with us and we're not alone. Thank you again for tuning in.